Shaquille O'Neal is one of the most loved celebrities who does not like to be called a celebrity. And on a recent live taping of Impulsive, he stops George Janko in his tracks to talk about making a relationship right with his dad and ultimately forgiveness. Let's check this out. I actually recently just got into it with my with my dad. and So what you need to do when you live here, just call him and tell him you love him. That's it. Nothing to talk about. Oh, wow. Doesn't matter who's right or who's wrong. Dad, I love you and I respect you and I'll see you when I get home. Because one of the biggest mistakes I made, and I've talked about this the last two years, is because I work a lot, so it's easy to go, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, mm -hmm. I'll do it tomorrow. So one day I get a call, my sister's no longer with us. So I'm already down, you know, from that, and then I get another call, hey man, Kobe Bryant just passed away. And all I had to do was pick up the phone and say, hey, I miss you, hey, I love you, hey, what you doing? So after we get off this, don't go hang with these guys, go in the back room, call your father, say, dad, I love you. Everybody's gonna have arguments, you're gonna have fights, but I know you have respect for your father. You know, sometimes when we get older, we think they don't know what they're talking about, but just just listen to what he's saying. If you agree, do it. If you don't agree, just respect what he says. Dad, I don't agree, but you don't need to be fighting and going long distance, you know, without talking to your dad. So after this, just call him and tell him you love him. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank yep. you so much. Thank you. That's so powerful that he just stops him in his tracks and he says, it doesn't matter what happened, call him, tell him that you love him right call your dad tell him that you love him he obviously has some regrets um uh, it doesn't sound like he had anything uh, going on with his sister but it sounds like he was so busy that he didn't connect with her like he should have or spend the kind of time that he wanted and he has this regret and also uh, whatever happened with him and kobe bryant different rumors out there i'm not sure maybe you can uh, tell me in the description below what happened if you know a little bit about that or they were just rumors who knows um, and I'm not sure uh, if, if Shaq, uh, I, I believe he's a Christian. I don't know how close he walks with God. Um, and I don't know, and I, I know George Janko uh, always talks about God on Impulsive, but I, I'm not gonna co-sign for everything that he says either. But the idea being that he talks to him about forgiveness, which is a biblical principle, which is something that we should all do. And I wanna share a scripture with you in Ephesians where it talks about that if we don't forgive what happens, right? Hey, let's, let's check this out. Scripture says uh, in Ephesians 4.31, it says, get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Now, this isn't easy to do. This is, this is not easy to do. Um, it's easy to read. It's easy to hear. And it probably sounds like a good idea. I mean, like get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words. Like, yes, we probably should, but you would tell me just like I would tell you, but you don't know what they did to me. You don't know that they cheated on me. And in fact, that happened to me over 12 years ago. My ex-wife cheated on me. Just just being really uh, open and honest. I was angry. I was mad. I, went, I, I, I punched the wall that day. I remember being so mad, breaking a hole in it with my fist. And knowing that um, this was just the, the worst thing that could ever happen. And I remember um, at the time, Andy Stanley was doing a series called The Monster Within. He was sharing how scripture talks about how when we don't get rid of bitterness, when we don't let that out of our heart, it grows and we become like monsters. We become like that person who just gets mad at everything. Any, anything that happens, it kind of snap. I don't know if you know somebody like that. Maybe, maybe that's you. I don't know. But scripture tells us to let that go. Um, it goes on to give us some more insight on how we can do that instead says be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving one another just as god through christ has forgiven you now again it's easy to read don't be bitter and it's even easy to read instead be kind like we all want to be kind but the idea of forgiving one another is is tough but then paul when he writes to the ephesians uh, he says, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. And he's basically saying, hey, when 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 God created this place, um, you guys brought sin into the world. We brought sin into the world. Adam and Eve disobeyed God and sin came into the world. And guess what? God didn't hold bitterness against us. He planned, he didn't want to try to get back at us, but he wanted to get back to us by sending Christ as the ultimate bridge to die for, for the sins of the world so that we could be forgiven, made right with him. And I heard something a while back that I wanna share with you that I love, uh, just two words here that made so much sense to me because when these things happen, um, our job is not to get back at, right? Because we wanna get back at people. And sometimes getting back at um, means that we just don't even talk to them, right? But God wants us to make it right. 
He wants us to get back too, especially those who are closest to him. Just like Shaq was saying, that's your dad. Make it right. I didn't make it right with my sister or, or I didn't connect with her enough. I didn't make it right with Kobe. And the idea that I don't want to get back at people, I want to get back to the relationship. That, that's, that's a powerful thing. And I want you to think about that because there's some of you who are watching this today that you are uh, I, you want to get back at somebody for what they did. And, and the Bible is telling us you need to release all that. You need to forgive them. You need to love them. You need to be tenderhearted. And ultimately, I want to ask and, and, and just tell you this in conclusion of this video, the way that um, you can uh, uh, get back to and not back at is by maybe just saying this prayer. And, and before I even say the prayer, I just wanna say that if it's somebody toxic in your life, somebody that needs to not be in your life, you still need to forgive them, but they need to not be in your life. Just know that it's okay for that person to not be in your life, but you still need to forgive them even if you can't talk to them. Even if you don't talk to them, God, I forgive this person for all the pain they caused, right? I don't wanna get back at, I wanna get back to, and Here's, here's why I say that, because I want to encourage you to say this prayer. L listen, just, just hear me out here. I want you to ask God, God, help me to see the way you see. Help me to see as you see. See, when we pray that prayer, we're asking God to allow us to see through his eyes how broken people are. And when we see that, somebody attacks us, somebody is mean to us, they're, they're harm, they, they cause harm to our lives. It's, it's really a reflection of what they're dealing with. And we could less take that personal, right? And really see as God sees. And so that we are less likely to try to get back at them, but we wanna get back to them in relationships. So ask God, God, help me to see as you see, right? And then if it's forgiveness, you can pray this real simple prayer. God, help me to forgive and you fill in the blank. God, help me to see as you see. God, help me to forgive blank. Even if you don't, if there's nothing in you that wants to forgive them, I'm telling you, your heart will inch closer and closer in that direction. You just keep repeating that. God, help me to see as you see and help me to forgive whatever it is, situation, whoever it is. Hey, my name is Joe. This is uh, Live Bold. Hope this helped. See you on the next one.